Hello, my name is Milena Eckstein and I'm a German forensic student at the University of Bonn Rhein Sieg in Rheinbach. At the moment I'm writing my bachelor thesis about the topic optimization and validation of a STR-based STR multiplex PCR for the analysis of the family Felidae. Um, in my thesis I've collected DNA from six different cat breeds as well as some wildcats like Eurasian lynx or European wildcats. Um, I collected their DNA with focal swabs and um, I extracted the DNA and amplified it according to the Miaplex assay described by John and Butler. Um, after amplification, the DNA fragments were analyzed by capillary electrophoresis and full DNA profiles were obtained in so-called electrophorograms. Here you can see one. <laughs> and you can see there are signals at every locus. So at the moment the system is optimized and validated and uh, most important it also works for wild cats like lynx and not only for domestic cats as described by John and Butler. But you might, made, you might ask yourself um, why is it so important to analyze cat DNA? So one point is that you might want to check whether your cat is a pure British Shorthair or Maine Coon or any other breed. Or if your cat is from a pet shelter, you might want to know what breeds are mixed in your cat, as it might not be just one cat breed. Um, another point is, for example, animal abuse. So if, a, if an animal, or especially cats, has been kicked, um, you might find cat DNA on, shoes of, on the shoes of the suspect. And if you can find that evidence, you can link the suspect to the crime. Or if a cat gets hit by a car, um, you might also find the cat's DNA at the car and then you can also associate these two points together. But also already in 1994, um, a cat helped solve a crime, a murder. And this is the so-called Snowball case. It's the most famous um, yeah, case in animal forensics. And um, yeah, so investigators found a jacket at the crime scene, I have here a t-shirt, and as you might know as a pet owner, when a cat lays down afterwards, the hair are everywhere, <laughs> you can't get rid of them. So the jacket was full of white cat hair and microscopic analysis and proof that it really was cat hair and not human hair. And um, one investigator remembered that um, the husband had a white cat called Snowball. So they collected DNA from Snowball and compared it to the DNA found at the crime scene and the profiles matched. And with this the police had the necessary evidence to um, associate the husband with the crime and the murder.